Well, hello everybody, it's March 8th, 2023. Just wanna show you guys a little tour of the town, some of the spots we haven't hit yet, and give you guys a good update. First of all, hit like and subscribe to help me out. I'd appreciate it. Um, Highway 18 is open on the backside to all people, so you guys can get up here and enjoy the snow. So get up here and hit the slopes and enjoy yourselves. So yeah, right now we're in Big Bear City. We're just gonna take a drive up on Highway 38 a little bit. Because I know a lot of you have wanted to see Highway 38. And then, uh, yeah, just we'll, we'll take a couple more spots that we haven't been hitting. And you guys, please, please, please understand, I'm really doing the very, very best that I can. I've been trying to screenshot everybody whose address they want me to, you know, drive by. And I am doing the very best that I can, I promise you. I promise you. I really want to make sure all of you can rest easy knowing that your place has not collapsed. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I've, I haven't heard anything about any roof cave-ins here. So that's a good thing. And this snow initially, you guys, was like a champagne powder type of snow. Um, it's not usual that we get that that type of snow so it wasn't nearly as heavy as our regular snow so that's good but yeah i'm excited for you guys to come up here i know it's a pain in the butt to drive all the way around the mountain range but you know what for all you avid skiers and snowboarders it's worth it it's going to be worth it especially man it, you get here early in the morning and be, be one of those first runs on the mountain right after they groom everything. Oh man, just beautiful. And I always mention my friend's shop, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. His name's Sahil. Dude is amazing. He made me feel so comfortable moving here. Um, he, he was he was my first friend and really made me feel good up here. And I refer everyone there, not, not just because he's a, a nice person, but um, He's got cool products too. I know a, a lot of people do vape out there, but he, he doesn't just have that. He's got a couple local Big Bear trinkets and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it, it would mean a lot to me for, for folks to stop by there. He's a super good dude. With a good product. And most importantly, I, I, I guess would be good prices because I used to, go down the mountain because unfortunately I still vape and I used to go down the mountain because it was that much cheaper for what I needed to get I, like it would save me money using all that gas driving down he doesn't overcharge people so give him a shot and uh, yeah enough about that yeah so the further we go this direction into Big Bear City the least the less of snow you will see it's just the way it works up here highway 18 on the front side though my gosh the little arctic circle for those of you who know the little arctic circle it looks horrible it looks horrible i think they they just started plow activity over there and they have like nine or ten miles of just untouched deep snow to, to plow so um, I, I've been hearing around St. Patrick's Day things could be open on that side but don't quote me on that do not quote me on that It says the temperature is 45 outside, but it feels warmer. It feels like it's more in the lower 50s right now. All right, let's go up to Sugarloaf. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take uh, Maple up into Sugarloaf and then get to a street called Baldwin. Or no, we're gonna go to Barton and take Barton all the way to the end and then come back. 
and then go down the other side of Sugarloaf to head to Highway 38. I really wish you guys I had the time just to go every single street, but unfortunately I don't. I have a regular job. And it's a seven day a week adventure. crossing Baldwin Lane and heading up to Barton. A laundromat right there. That's the, the laundromat in the loaf. People refer to this town as the loaf. I've also heard some others non unbecoming names up here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so when it comes to weather, you guys, Friday, we've got a little disturbance coming through and it's going to be a lot warmer. We're not even going to see <coughs> freezing temperatures at all that day. It's gonna, I think it's gonna be our first day where our nighttime temperatures are above freezing for uh, for the past few months. And it's supposed to rain. It's, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that much, but any rain's not gonna be good for our snowpack here. This is a restaurant up here in Sugarloaf called Callens, and this is Easy's General Store. Yeah, Callens is a pretty darn good restaurant. Any of you who live in, in the Lucerne Valley area know of the Callens down there. I don't know if it's still operational, but. So when we pass one of these streets, I'll, I'll show you every street goes up to the very top, just like that. I don't know if you could tell. Here, since we don't have anyone back of us, we'll just slow down real, real quickly. All of them go up to the very top. A sugar loaf and usually they'll have a little bit more snow up there but at this point it's not gonna be too much of a difference but I just wanted you guys to see what's going on through the main drive in sugar loaf this was a highly requested location for me to check out for you guys and as I said guys I'm doing my very 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 best there have been like 50 different addresses that people want me to go drive by and it's it's like I am doing the very best that I can. It certainly is a beautiful day. Temperature fell to 43 degrees as we've been climbing in elevation up here. Once we have my, my other vehicle back, we'll be taking this route. This is the entrance to Moonloaf. It's an off-roading, <clears throat> short adventure. 
However, it ends up being a shortcut from Sugarloaf to Moon Ridge. So you can cut off the whole town to get into Upper Moon Ridge. It's pretty awesome. You don't have to drive all the way around through Big Bear City, then to Big Bear Lake, cut, cut through Moon Ridge, go all the way out. Like it's huge savings of time. But you have to have the appropriate vehicle, especially this time of year with, when, when there's a lot of snow up there. My car is the appropriate vehicle, but I just didn't want to bang it up too much. My other car, eh, let's bang that boy. Get that thing all banged up. When I get my other car back, I gotta put the snow tires on it. I have a set of snow tires at my friend's shop, which I switch out for that car every season, or every winter season. And I'm only gonna need them for maybe a couple weeks, but that's okay. I just really don't want to get stuck up there in, in Moon Loaf. I don't get good cell phone service up there. I said you're not really missing much you're just missing homes on different streets it's not like there's a, a big zoo up here or like something that we're not driving by there's really nothing nothing too special up here as I said it's just a residential neighborhood very local a lot of locals live here they do have plenty of Airbnbs up here as well though Take a drive up Highway 38 a little bit, see what's going on there. Got a local fire department up here in Sherloof, very cool. A park with a skate park and a baseball field. Cute little park. I've seen some really good skateboarders at that park though, holy moly. Big park for your kids. It's great. It's good. Good. And one thing I've noticed a lot right now is that our town's getting really trashed because in the dumpsters all over the place since 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 the crows are having a hard time getting worms or whatever they do because of the snow cover, they're ripping into the trash bags all over town and just spreading trash everywhere. It's no bueno for sure. Up here to the right, we just passed the entrance. There are some humongous mansions in this neighborhood. Kind of reminds me of, of where I grew up in Newport Beach. Just really, really big, big homes. Beautiful homes. Highway 38, folks. People have been telling me to slow down, so I'm trying to slow down. It might look like I'm I'm going fast, but speed limit's 50, the roads are dry, and I'm going 41. So 
Ah, see, I'm learning. I am definitely learning. That church over here. So we're passing right now. We're going to be passing one of the... It's basically the last neighborhood before you start heading on the road to nowhere, which is just all the way down to Mento and Yucaipa and stuff. There's just nothing in between. We do have one more neighborhood up here on the way up here on the left. It's called Lake Williams. But on both sides here, you've got this Irwin area. This is technically Irwin Lake over there. And that neighborhood goes back quite a bit. But look at this beautiful view right here. Wow. Right about here, we're at about 7,000 feet elevation, and we continue to climb. I wonder if they're letting people by. It looks like uh, they're letting them through this direction, but I know they're not letting people down this way. So I wonder where they're gonna have the have the uh, roads blocked off. This is such a beautiful place, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. That really is so beautiful. So we're going to go up by Lake Williams and then turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit closer that I'm never coming around. Turn around. This is also when we have good snow, a good place to go sledding, but a lot of people will park with their cars half into the street, and it's, it's just a dangerous situation. If you do want to sled over here, look for the no trespassing signs to avoid that problem, but then also just try to make sure you get your car totally out of the street, because uh, there will be a lot of people who might hate you, and that would not be cool. You guys would not enjoy that. It would not be a good time in Big Bear. Look at dry patches over here already. It's amazing how, how quickly the snow goes. anyone's wondering I'm going a little bit less than our speed limit here I know it seems like I'm going super fast but it looks a lot faster looking into the camera I'm driving perfectly safe for these road conditions there's no ice or snow in the road we're good been doing this a long time but I do agree with you guys sometimes I do drive a little bit fast and I'd like oh here's the checkpoint they aren't letting anyone down Turn this off just for wow. I wish I would have kept the phone on because the guy in front of me drove around the police officer blocking our, our way out. <laughs> that was interesting, but that's as far as we can go. That was Lake Williams over there. I don't know if you can see it, but that is our last neighborhood before you start heading down. Actually, technically, technically. Once you get past Onyx Summit, which is 8,443 feet, that is the highest road in the San Bernardino National Forest. Once you get past Onyx Summit, which is the summit of this road, um, there's a neighborhood and the street's called Rainbow. So I don't know if that neighborhood is, is called Rainbow or what, but it's uh, just on the other side of these hills here. Let's see. The other side of these mountains right up there and they get a lot of snow up there because the other side of these mountains gets hit first and all the lift that's caused by these mountains it ends up dumping right there a lot more by the time the storms make it over these mountains they, they start to get ripped apart by the dry desert air because we're really close to the desert here
And as I said, we're gonna drive through Irwin a little bit. Seven thousand feet. Usually, there's a sign right here that says. Uh, at least I thought there was a sign that said Big Bear City. Welcome to Big Bear City. But I, I could be wrong, or maybe it got knocked down. Probably got knocked down. All right. So we're gonna enter this neighborhood up here on the right called uh, Irwin Lake. Another really localized neighborhood. I wouldn't mind living out here except it's just for the commute constantly, especially in bad weather to the grocery stores and everything you need. It's, it's a little far out for me. drive about halfway through, take one of the side streets, and then be done with it. And then I'm, in, instead of recording all the way back, we're just going to shut it off until we get back to the Moon Ridge area. And then we will take Moon Ridge to Club View and take Club View all the way up to the top. Because I know we haven't been there yet. I'm sure they have a lot of snow and ice up there. It's not going to be the most fun drive. Speed limit in this this neighborhood is 40 miles an hour. I was just going 32. I know that's still fast for, for a lot of folks out there, so I'm trying to do my best to listen to y'all because I know most of most of the comments are because you care. And that makes me care even more too. When it's constructive criticism, I listen. When it's being attacking, I just in one ear out the other. Forty-four degrees here. And we're gonna go through this. Uh, hopefully, we don't get stuck in all this mushy nasty snow but we're gonna take this a little bit just to see what's going on over here i would hate to get stuck especially with not much gas so i can keep warm but i do know some people over here i could just run over to their house and hang out and, and, and be warm worst case it's a good thing about living in a small town wow look at this this is not gonna be fun right here. Yeah, this is melting quickly over here. All right, so we gotta find a place to turn around right here. Wow, some cute houses over here. I've never been back here, believe it or not. Let's take it a little bit further and just see. All right, yeah, nice, 
beautiful houses back here. Oh, I could live back here for sure. This would be a privilege to live back here. All right, guys, hang on. I'm going to turn this around. I got to shut this off for a second. Okay, you guys, we made that turn around. Wow, this is... I hope I'm going the right way. I don't think I'm going the right way. I really don't. No, this can't be the right way. Because it wasn't this deep before. This is not good. I'm going to get my butt stuck here. Unless I can get down through here. You guys hear it rubbing on the bottom of the car. I'm going to be high centered if I don't hit it. Oh no. Wow, this is scary. I might have to go back up that, you guys. That's not cool. Unless I can get out of here. Hopefully I can get out of here. <laughs> that is so not cool. Oh no. It looks like I can get out of here because that person just turned. So we're gonna do what we can to get through here. Holy smokes. Okay, well that person made it, so I can make it. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm at. This is nasty out here, holy moly. Holy smokes, holy smokes. See how windy it is up here. Look at the, those balloons just blowing like a champ. Like a champ. Like a champ. Okay, we're gonna high center right here again. I just need to be careful. And then we got a big drop off right here. Oh, I wish I lived out here. This is so great. Okay, so can I get through here? I freaking hope. Yeah, it's just a stop sign up there. I'll take it. You guys, I'm telling you, n a normal car will not make it through what I just got through. You will be teeter-tottering. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Some beautiful views though. Where I just was, the views are incredible. I mean, truly remarkable. You can see Baldwin Lake, for those of you who know this area, I was so high up, you could see over one of the mountains to see the, the mountains behind Baldwin. Really pretty. Okay, Hatchery Road. I think I know where we're at now. If we go left, we'll get stuck. If we go right, we'll be good. Yeah, left stuck, right good. Oh yeah, baby, we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. How long were you up there? Sorry guys, it's a friend of mine. Everyone's thinking, wow, you have friends? When did this happen? I actually do, believe it or not, I actually do. I keep driving fast, I'm not gonna have any more friends though. So I need to slow it down. I'm really trying, you guys, I'm really trying. It's just now that I feel like I'm out of that prison of deep snow, I feel, I feel so awesome. back on state lane so that was a lot further into Irwin than we wanted to go and almost got stuck for you guys I hope you guys love me for that I'm sure a few, a few people are like god damn you didn't get stuck but I didn't we made it so as I said Irwin's one of the furthest neighborhoods that you can come to uh, when you're uh, on the Big Bear City side of town 
Lake Williams only has a few houses, so it's really nothing, nothing special. Here we are on Highway 38. That's going up and out of town, you guys, that direction. But we're heading back into Big Bear. So have you been here for all the snow? Make a left here, that's where we came down. Oh, I, I thought those were two donkeys. <laughs> They're people, that's hilarious. If you make a left where we just passed, that takes you up into uh, Sugarloaf, that's, that's the direction, that's the street that we came down, called Baldwin. And over here is a really nice trailer park area, really nice. no snow on the roads. Speed limit's 40. I'm going 40. Now we got all these slow signs, so we gotta slow down. Which we will. something up a couple days ago I didn't realize that my car had internet service inside the car so I called AT&T because that's who it, it goes through and I, and I set up the unlimited plan for a whole year so I get 200 gigabytes a month I think so we can do some some live feeds I'm assuming in areas out here where I don't get cell phone service I'm assuming that the AT&T service has to be good but maybe since it's it, since it's internet and not cellular maybe it's different i'm not sure i have no idea but i'm hoping it's going to be good for us we just went up here to sugar loaf As I said, I'm going to shut it off about here until we get back to the Moon Ridge area. Or actually, when we get to Division Road, we're going to drive through a little bit of Fox Farm to get into Moon Ridge to the back. But we're not going to take all of Fox Farm. So I'm going to shut it off right now. I'll talk to you guys shortly. Peace. All right, so we're back in Big Bear City even further about to enter Big Bear Lake, but we're gonna turn left at this stoplight called Division Road, which is kind of your like, kind of a, a, a back way into Moonridge. So we're gonna take that route. As a matter of fact, a lot of you wanted me to go up to uh, this neighborhood. I can't remember what it's called. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. There's a really beautiful neighborhood up on the top of the hill here just unbelievably gorgeous homes we'll do that and then we will uh head through fox farm and then head back all right here we go is this 
snow play area right there. You got some some people snow playing right now, sliding, doing some sledding. That's so cool. All right, so here's the neighborhood I was telling you about. We turn right here and we go all the way up to the top of the hill and we'll go back down and end up at the next stoplight if we would have kept going. So this neighborhood is called Something Glen Estates. And you'll see some really beautiful homes up here. I think it's called like Eagle Glen or I'm, I'm not sure. The sign was completely covered up. Yeah, they got some huge beautiful homes with incredible views up here. Eagle Glen Estates. I wish I could afford something like this. Someday, hard work will pay off. Oh, this is a dead end. See how smart I am up here? Look at this beautiful place. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Obviously, I have to turn right here. Here's a little bit of a view. It's not much, but it's a little bit of a view. As I said, you'll see some big, beautiful homes over here. sides of the street they're just mansions it's the life that I want I respect people that have worked hard to earn this stuff I could never hate on people who sacrifice their Friday and Saturday nights instead of going out and partying to work hard on what they're trying to do in their life and end up here and most of these are people's like vacation homes. This isn't even their like main home. There's a little view of Bear Mountain at the very top up there. I don't know if you can see. Okay, one of these streets I gotta turn right on and I don't, here it is, Fallen Leaf. This is gonna take us down to Starvation Flats. Speaking of starvation, I'm pretty hungry right now. Dead end straight ahead. It's got another cul-de-sac over there. Everything over here is just gorgeous. Like, I want to get every house in, in here. A picture of the, a picture of the lake all snowed on. And 
though you can't really see it from there, but she can see through a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna drive through Fox Farm now and end up on Moon Ridge. First, we're coming to Starvation Flats. If you turn right here, Big Bear Boulevard is one block up. I'll show you once we pull out a little bit. There's Big Bear Boulevard right there. So we want to go to the left. houses every day. That would be so awesome. Fox Farm. We're gonna hang a left here. If we turn right, Big Bear Boulevard's about two blocks to the right over there. But we are going the opposite direction. This is a cute neighborhood as well. Not quite as magnificent type homes, but still really, really cute. I'd live here. I'd be happy. I mean, honestly, I'm happy with the little shack that I have now, but if one day I had the option, you only live once, and uh, I'm sorry that I like some of the nicer things in life. In California, it's a really bad thing to like, to strive for greatness. And it's quite a bummer. I think everyone should get the best out of your life that you can. Living paycheck to paycheck has been awful for me. I hate it. It will not last. I promise it will not last. Someday I will be a success. All right, anyway. Enough about that crap. Crap. So we're on Fox Farm Road, you guys. We're basically doing the whole drive through Fox Farm. And as I said, this is a way into Lower Moon Ridge through the back. You shall see. favorite houses in town are these two houses right next door to each other. Entering Moon Ridge now. Let's see. I know I haven't been mentioning the street names as often, but I've been trying. Uh, we are on Cougar Road.
then on the next drive we'll hit some some spots that we haven't hit as often either but I think this is good good for this drive right now I wanted to go up by Bear Mountain up to the top of Club View but we'll hit that next time 100 percent it's gonna be interesting for me to look back at all these videos just to see how every couple days how much snow has melted all right, so we just turned on Elm Street, left on Elm, and now we're gonna make a right on Moon Ridge Road at the first roundabout. And that's gonna do it for us, guys. Well, thank you very much for being with me today. Thanks for enjoying the drive. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you again for everything. Remember, if you are enjoying what I do, it really helps me out if you like and subscribe. It really does help this channel grow, so. Um, thank you. Appreciate you guys. And once again, it's March 8th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Everybody come up and have fun. Woohoo!